Springs dad is desperate to help his daughter and her family get home from Gaza. They went to visit her husband's family. Wink News reporter Claire Galt live in the newsroom. So Claire, he's scared tonight too. What's he doing to try to help his family in Gaza? Rossi is making phone calls. He is sending emails and text messages, trying to focus attention on his family and the other Americans trapped in Gaza, at no fault of their own. So far, he told me no one is listening. Emily Rauschenberger is an American, stuck in Gaza with her husband, with her five children. They're under siege with no way to get home. Bombing and we, um, we know there's nowhere to go. Emily and her family went to Gaza to visit her husband's family at their olive tree farm. Out of nowhere, Emily told me there was darkness. Saturday, we, I, I woke up to, to hearing rockets just whiz by and explode. She had just enough service, just enough battery left on her cell phone to speak with me for just a few minutes over FaceTime. Her dad, John, by my side. Here, you hear lots of booms in the distance. You see lights in the sky from time to time. Sometimes the, the booms are very close and it shakes the windows and, and the house. Uh, other ones are much further away. As we spoke, it became hard to make out what Emily was saying over the screaming children in the distance. Okay. John told me there's around 30 people in her shelter, many of them kids. We know this is just going to get worse in the days to come. That terrifies John, who lives in Bonita Springs. He wants what he calls a humanitarian ceasefire. John said he and his daughter and her family hate Hamas. It's the pain and the torture the terrorists have caused. So he prays they can somehow get out of Gaza. Are you worried your daughter and your grandchildren are going to die? Uh, well, you know, it's it's they're in a war zone. So, yeah, I don't. Try not to think about it. John told me no one in the Biden administration and no none of our local congressmen will return his calls or his emails. But maybe this will give him hope. CBS News is reporting that the United is discussing the issue of safe passage for civilians from Hamas. Well, we definitely hope that for the families who are with so much concern tonight. Claire, I know you also spent time today talking with a Holocaust survivor. How does he describe what we're seeing in Israel? Lois, he called Hamas evil, and he was born during the Holocaust in a slave labor camp, and his grandparents died at the hands of Nazis. That's why, for Ken Wetcher, Israel is his safe place. When you're surrounded by people who understand what it is like to be the target of so much hate. Hamas wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth, just like the Nazis. We saw the same kind of brutality, children being slaughtered in front of their parents, parents being raped in front of their children, the same kind of brutality that existed there. Ken told me there's a reason Jewish people survive, resilience. And despite the horror he lived through and the horror he is watching on television right now in Israel, he told me he still has faith in the human race. Back to you.